Hi, so we're going to look at the Anneli's case annealing machine today. Now I've been previously using a drill with an attachment and just holding it over a propane torch. Now that does work very well but there's two major downsides to that. One is that you have to manhandle every piece of brass and two is it's not going to get you a consistent result. It's difficult to hold it over the flame for the exact same amount of time and also to get the distance the exact same. So this will, from case to case, get you much more consistent results and will also free you up so I can get on with some trimming or some other reloading task. So let's have a look at this. So looking at the front, start top from bottom, we've got the case feed tray there, the indexing wheels, the top indexing wheel picks the case up, drops it onto this lower indexing wheel which has got a blue non-slip surface to it. That then rotates the case while it's sitting in the flame for about five seconds and the whole thing from picking the case up to dropping it into there takes about 10 seconds. So I normally reload 308 brass in batches of 50. This takes five minutes to do 50. This is where you plug it in. My propane bottle. So I've got quite a long hose. If you want to hook it up to a external gas supply, then you can. We've got the electronics and the motor for the indexing wheels. Pretty simple stuff, but very, very effective. I really, really like it. I've run a couple hundred cases through it now. Absolutely love this machine. It's really, really well made and very affordable. I was looking at the new machines for the last couple of years, really, but most of them are very, very expensive, and this one was just really affordable. And from what I can tell, just as good. So, yeah, let's have a closer look. So we'll light the torch now. Turn it on. Hold the lighter right at the edge. If you hold the lighter out, it won't work properly. And we'll adjust the flow of gas so that the tip of the dark blue flame is in the centre point of the case. So now that we've got the torch set up correctly, I'm going to run some test cases through. I've turned the speed down, and you'll see why in a minute. So we'll turn it on. The top indexing wheel collects the case, drops it into the flame. Now in a second you should start to see some orange flame coming off. There you go, see? That is material in the case actually being burnt off, so that case has been over annealed. So what we need to do is turn it up to a point where there's no orange coming off. The ideal point is just before the orange starts to burn, which is why it's a good idea to use some old cases so that you can over anneal to find that sweet spot. I've loaded 5308 cases into the feed tray, so the top index wheel collects one of the cases, drops it onto the non-slip surface of the bottom index wheel, which then rotates the case in the flame for approximately five seconds. In between that case being taken out of the flame and the new one being dropped in, as you can see, is less than a second, so that's a further advantage of the machine when compared to using a drill in that there's a lot less wasted gas. The case on the left is a brand new Lapua case that was annealed in the factory. The next one over is one that I've just annealed myself. Now as you can see the discoloration on both is very similar and so is the distance down the main body of that discoloration. The one in the middle is a lot shinier and the discoloration comes down further. That had orange flames coming off it for two to three seconds. The next one over was left so it just started to glow red for a little while and as you can see the discoloration comes down a lot further. The one on the right was left glowing red for over five seconds and the discoloration comes down over halfway down the main body. 